It is the last day of poetry month. Oh my god, I almost fell out of this chair. <laughs> Instead of reading a really trendy new poem, I'm going back to the basics. That's Sharon Olds. I don't know if I've read a Sharon Olds poem this month. That's how sad it is. I've been reading since March, folks, okay? It's been more than a month of me reading poems, so I feel like I earned those days off. But this is from... Satan Says, and it's one of her first books. In fact, this was a book that won the San Francisco Poetry Center Award in 1981, and it is a poetry classic in that if you're new to poetry and are looking for narrative poems, so a poet who writes about her life, then you have found a book that can resonate with you, especially if you're a mother. This book is broken up into multiple parts. It's about being a young woman. It's about being a mom. It's about being a wife. It's really good. The poem I'm going to leave you with today is Young Mother's One. That's how Ivy asks for um, us to wash her hand in the sink. Hand, hand, hunt, hunt. Young Mother's One. That look of attention on the face of the young mother like an animal, bending over the carriage, looking up, ears erect, eyes showing the whites all around. Startled as a newborn, she glances from side to side. She is pushed, lying alone on a bed, sweating, isolated by pain, splitting slowly. She has pressed out the child in her. It lies, separate, opening and closing its mouth, its hands, wrinkled with long immersion in salt water. Now the mother is the other one, breast hard bags of rock salt, the bluish milk seeping out, her soul, there in the small carriage, the child in her, risen to the top like cream and skimmed off. Now she is alert for violation, hearing acute as a deer's, her pupils quick, her body bent in a curve, wet rope which has dried and tightened, a torture in some cultures. She dreams of death by fire, death by falling, death by disemboweling, death by drowning, death by removal of the head. Someone starts to scream and it awakens her. The hungry baby wakes and saves her. Happy end of National Poetry Month. I'm very sad it's over. Hmm.